Hi everyone, I'm Alicia with the Daggerty Dozen. And this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 14. Um, this week's will look a little different because we are going to New York City next weekend, so we're going to be gone for four days. So I need to shop for this week through Thursday. And then I know I'm not going to want to go right to the store when we get back from New York City. So I'm going to shop for a few days after and put that stuff in the freezer. So yeah, this will look a little different than my normal shops. Um, only because of the trip falling right during the weekend. Uh, but yeah, let's get going. But first, coffee. Back at the big Wegmans today. Sneaking in the back door. I love how quiet it is and there's nobody here first thing in the morning. I think I'm all set for s'mores stuff. I can walk right by that. Cart one. I always start in the back aisle and then I kind of weave my way all the way through the store. Gotta get dish soap. Somebody asked me why I buy dish soap if we use paper plates. I'm like, well, we you know, wash pots and pans and stuff too. <laughs> I gotta get more Dixie cups for the kids' vitamins and medicines. We're pretty well set on toilet paper and paper towels still. The kids were so excited when I bought them those Imagine Ink coloring pads last week, but they are all out this week. We need garbage bags. Gallon Ziplocs. And Reynolds wrap. Over to the pasta aisle. I'm almost out of minced garlic that I like to use in my recipes. Get another jar of that. And yes, we need more spaghetti sauce because I know it seems crazy. Our shelf was stocked in my food storage tour, but you gotta think of it. One like spaghetti bake or pasta bake is a good six jars of spaghetti sauce for us. Plus the kids use it when they make their mozz sticks or if they make up some pasta. Um, yeah, we, we go through a lot of sauce. I need more nutmeg, secret ingredient. And crab boil seasoning for the clam bake on the 4th of July. We are also out of parsley. I've just been using Italian seasoning in the meantime. And more food coloring for anything red, white, and blue I might want to do tomorrow. Now to get the snacks for New York City. I always pack snacks in their carry-on for the plane or road trip. So I'm looking for snacks that are not like totally messy or crummy. I'm going to get lollipops for the plane ride for the babies. I'm sorry, they're three and five. We, you know, still call them the babies. Raisins. Whoops. Gum for everyone else for the plane ride. If your ears are clogged, you can pop them by chewing gum or yeah. sucking on a lollipop. Now more snacks for the plane ride. Um, travel day. 
and to have in New York City as well. Um, because, you know, a pack of goldfish in New York City is going to cost me $20. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we are definitely going to pack some snacks for this trip. Cheez-Its. Okay, a 30 pack. I am packing a suitcase of snacks. <laughs> Pirate's booty. Let's get some veggie sticks. Six in a bag. Okay, so I need two bags to make 12 for 12 kids. My kids like these Scooby snacks. I haven't gotten those in a little while, so we'll get these. And I'm just realizing I need to get double of everything because I need snacks for the plane ride home too. Okay, here we go. More veggie sticks. More cookies. So I'll pack these in the suitcase to have to pack in their carry-ons for the plane ride home. Snacking kids are happy kids. <laughs> more Scooby Snacks. I think I'll get some of these frosted animal crackers too. Okay, six to a box, so I need four boxes. Doing math so early in the morning. Gotta get Harley and Bodie their Cheetos. And I have these at home, but I'm going to get these for the trip and then I'm not taking from the stash that's at home. This is like a separate stash that I'm packing for the trip. Okay, this cart is getting pretty full. I think I'm all set on... Tostitos and Doritos and all of that stuff this week. Um, let's see. Yep, I don't need any of that. I do need pretzel rods for a 4th of July snack that I'm making tomorrow. I'm going to dip them in white chocolate and roll them in red, white, and blue sprinkles those should be good you know what I decided I am gonna get little bites too even though I have them at home the, these are to pack for the trip and then I don't even have to go into the home stash okay I gotta get chips for the 4th of July do you like the flat chips or the wavy chips it is an ongoing debate in my house of which tastes better now I think I'm done with cart one. I'm going to leave this up front near the manager stand so nobody hopefully takes it. And get another cart. I love that this Wegmans has this row of carts right here. So I don't have to go all the way outside to get another cart. It's just convenient and saves time. Part two. When I was setting the cart to the side, I noticed these pretzel rods were all broken and who wants to eat a broken 4th of July treat? So I'm gonna put that back and get a different canister, but that's all broken too. Okay, I'm gonna look over here and see if this other brand, Uts, Oots, Uts. Uh, I mean, they're broken, but not as broken. So we're gonna go with this canister of pretzel rods. Gotta have Twizzlers on the 4th of July.
If you don't live in the United States of America, basically we just eat all red, white, and blue stuff <laughs> for the 4th of July and snacks. And I will show you tomorrow everything. I'm okay. I am going to get some candy because we're going to the movies later to see Minions. Um, yeah, we just went to the movies and did the whole buy candy at the movies thing. That is expensive. <laughs> I don't normally do this, but uh, it's just easier. We're going to do this. We're going to buy candy for the movie theater later. This $1.29 box of Sour Patch Kids is literally like $8 at the movie theater. All right, so I need thir 13 uh, because Deshaun's girlfriend is coming too. All right, one more. Yes, we're bringing 13 kids to the movies today. And then I'm going to get M&M's because my kids always want M&M's at the movies. Sour Patch Kids and M&M's. That's what they always want. And popcorn, of course. We'll buy the popcorn when we get there. I'm just grabbing handfuls. I'm not counting right now, so we'll see if I got 13. So many M&M's. <laughs> All right, let's count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Could not have planned that. So I was hoping they would have red, white, and blue M&M's or something. Uh, looks like they don't have them here. I might have some left over from Memorial Day. So hopefully let's see if they have any other like red or blue candy for tomorrow's charcuterie board mm, looks like this is it i don't know what these are moonberries okay and swedish fish let's go with that yes i just bought swedish fish last week yes my kids already ate them Okay, now I'm on the lookout for a fancy drink dispenser. I want to make this um, red, white, and blue punch that I saw Macy Blackwell do on Instagram. And yeah, it just looked really cool. But I don't have any kind of drink dispenser. I have a punch bowl, but I don't know if it would work in a punch bowl. Plus, it just looked really cool in her drink dispenser. <laughs> All right, I am not seeing one, though. Wait, what is that? That's exactly what I want. That is exactly what she had, only she had a different stand for it. This one has like fruit in the stand. I don't know what I'll put at the bottom there, but yeah, this will work. Perfect. And it's on sale. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to brainstorm what's put down there. I'm so excited, okay. Oh, people have been asking about my mixing bowls and where I got them, and I just got them at our grocery store, Wegmans. So here's what you put in the punch bowl in the red, white, and blue punch that Macy made. It's blue Gatorade for the blue. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell my kids not to drink this before tomorrow. And the red is cranberry juice. And for the white... It's going to be with ice, so you use 7-Up, and it looks white against the ice. Okay, I need applesauce pouches um, because I took all of ours to a picnic yesterday at the park with the kids' cousins, so I need more of those. And fruit cocktail. I'm making Dolly Parton dessert tonight. I will post a video of that. So I need two cans of fruit cocktail. And marinade for chicken. They have all of these awesome marinades here. The, any any of them are good, honestly. Um, somebody asked me what the chicken barbecue one tastes like, and I would equate it to like a tangy ranch. I'm going to go with that. Three bottles. I'm going to marinate the chicken that I'm going to get, and I'm going to freeze it for next week after we get back from New York City. Already marinated. Just got to take it out. Perfect don't have to worry about that 
Mayonnaise for the week. And Josh and I are back into eating salads for lunch, so I'm gonna get some croutons. What's a salad without croutons? We're all set on mac and cheese still from the BJ's haul. We're all set on tuna fish still from last week. And I was hoping they would have the red, white, and blue rice krispies again this year, but I'm not seeing them. I do need more Lucky Charms. I'm sorry, marshmallow treasures. <laughs> um, Jordan and Harley have been eating that a lot. Okay, so my old boss is in town from Florida and her kids have requested my pumpkin chocolate chip bread while they're here in town. Of course, I'm gonna make that. I mean, I make it every week anyways. <laughs> So I got some of these disposable pans so I can just gift them the pumpkin chocolate chip bread and not have to worry about getting a pan back. I got these white chocolate chips for cookies that I'm going to make tomorrow and jello for my flag jello cake that I'm going to make tomorrow. Over to the toiletry section. Now, I don't talk about this too much, but there is a People Magazine article on us that does address this. Um, that link is in our website. But some of my children um, battle incontinence because of their uh, fetal alcohol syndrome. And so we have to get them Depends because they no longer fit in pull-ups. Um, so yes, if you've ever seen these in my cart, that is why. Um, developmental regression and delays is very common with kids with fetal alcohol syndrome. So definitely check out that article if you want to know more. All right, so on to toiletries for New York City. I decided I'm going to bring a first aid kit. Doesn't everybody bring a first aid kit when they go on vacation? Um, that way you don't have to get like individual boxes of band-aids and neosporin and everything. I'm going to get some masks because honestly, I do not know what the current rule is in airports. I don't know if we need these, but better to have them than not. Um, Alex needed some sports tape to wrap his bad ankle for football. And deodorant <laughs> for New York City. Okay. That's James Deshaun. This is for Alex, plus one for the week at home. And me, Nevea, Bree, and Zoe. Okay, that, let's see, what else do we need? Dental floss. Travel toothbrushes for the summer. All right, let's see. Josh, me, Alex, James, Nevea, Patrick. I need more because that's not everybody. <laughs> so let me get another pack of these. Deshaun, Bree, and then I'll get the kid toothbrushes for Dash, Jordan, Jason, Harley, and then I gotta get Bodie a red one. So. Let me see if they have another red one. They do. Okay. Bodhi's favorite color is red. He likes everything red. Um, okay, they're out of the toothpaste I get for the kids, but I know I have some at home I can pack. And they are out of the three pack of Crest that I would normally get. So I'm going to get just two of these singular packs of Crest. And then we have three hotel rooms in New York City. Um, one is for my parents though, so I'm going to get two containers of mouthwash, one for my hotel room with my kids and one for Josh in his hotel room with his kids and I'll pack Dixie cups to use with them. Okay, <laughs> I also pack a whole dang pharmacy whenever we go away because it never fails. Somebody's going to have a random allergic reaction. Gotta bring Benadryl. Zoe and her allergies will probably flare up. Gotta get that. Uh, let's see what else. I should bring some children's medicine because I feel like 
if I bring it, um, then nobody will get sick, right? Like that's what will happen. We're gonna bring some chewable ibuprofen, some liquid ibuprofen, and they're out of the chewable Tylenol, so we'll get some liquid Tylenol. Yeah, better safe than sorry. And then I normally have these giant family packs of aspirin at home. I don't wanna pack that. So I'm gonna get some little travel bottles to pack in my purse, have on hand for the bigger kids and Josh and I, just in case. Ibuprofen and Tylenol. You know what? I'm gonna get some Dramamine, knockoff Dramamine, just in case. You never know. Some of my kids have never flown before, so I feel like it's better safe than sorry. I'm gonna have that. All right, I'm gonna get this for the twins. I normally buy them these big containers, um, but I don't wanna pack that. Plus, my skin always gets super dry when I fly, so I'm gonna get some lotion for that. Even though it's a short flight, so I don't think it will do anything, but I'm gonna get some chapsticks too for the trip. And wow, everybody beat me to the sunblock apparently. I guess I'll get this Neutrogena sunblock. I don't normally buy this kind. I normally get store brand, but I don't know. Hopefully it's good. I'm gonna get four of those. Okay, body washes. I am trying to find Brie and Patrick's body wash. Does anybody see it? I, like, I am not seeing it. Maybe I'm overlooking it. Maybe they changed the design of the bottle. Um, it's normally like a pink bottle. Um, hmm. Okay, they must be out of it. So I think I'll get them this other kind I've used in the past. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see it. Weird. I'll have to get some of that on Amazon for them. So I'll grab this. Uh, Arm and Hammer one works okay. Not as good as the other one. Let's see. I will get some of this for the girls' bathroom. Now, normally we don't share toiletries. Um, I'll get some of this for the boys' bathroom. But, like, for four days in New York City, I feel like the guys can share a bottle so I don't have to pack four of these, you know? All right, that should be good for the guys. Now, shampoo. Most of us use this. Well, I wouldn't say most of us. Half of us, I think, use this kind. And Zoe needs more of her coils cream. So when we travel, I try not to have things that have a spout because you know those are gonna open up on the trip um, and, and like spill everywhere, right? So I'm gonna get this Johnson & Johnson wash for the little ones, shampoo and body wash, two in one, perfect. I'm gonna get some new brushes for the trip. I don't know where all of our brushes keep going. I, I don't know, they disappear. I'll get this for one of the bathrooms. And Zoe likes this kind, so I'll get that for the girls' bathroom. I use whatever, I don't care. <laughs> All right, toiletries for the trip. Let's move on to bread for this week. I'm going to get four loaves. My kids still have camps for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm going to get the pizza crust for the Friday next week after New York City and put them in the freezer. So 
so that I don't have to worry about shopping for that next week. Um, so I need 12 of these. I know I have a few still in the freezer. Hawaiian rolls for the 4th of July. And speaking of the 4th of July, I need hot dog buns and hamburger buns. some bagels at home but I'm just gonna grab six more bagels that should get us through the week okay this cart is getting full as I walked past the Pepto-Bismol I decided I'm going to grab this for the trip just in case I'll get some adult Pepto and I'm gonna get some kid Pepto too just in case somebody eats something that disagrees with their stomach in New York City. Let's get another cart. Part three. Time for produce. I don't need too much this week. Uh, let's get a watermelon for the 4th of July. That hack has been working. If it has a yellow spot on the side, it tends to taste really good. There's, okay, let's see. Let's keep looking. That, that's what you want. Yellow spot, good. I'm gonna get a bag of cherries. Jason devoured these again. And some strawberries. Actually, I need a lot of strawberries because these are in a lot of my recipes tomorrow for the 4th of July. So, let's look these over. These are piled so high, I feel like they're all going to fall over on me. So <laughs> this is giving me anxiety here. <laughs> I'm gonna make the tower of strawberries fall over in the store, I'll be that person. So, okay, I'm doing this very carefully. I think I'm gonna get, let's see, one, two, I'm gonna get more. I always look at the bottom, make sure they're not rotten. One, two, three. Some blueberries for my stars and stripes jelly cake. All right, we're all set on avocados still. I'm gonna get some red peppers and corn on the cob. I got 20 ears of corn on the cob. I'm gonna get some tomatoes. And <laughs> some cauliflower, mostly because it's white, but Josh will eat it at least. <laughs> and potatoes for the seafood royal. Um, I want the little ones. There they are. You know I gotta get salt potatoes. We are obsessed with these. If you've never heard of them, I have them in my recipes playlist. Two bags of those. Okay, I decided I'm gonna get some red potatoes too. My kids love them. And onions. Let's get some bananas. They're kind of picked over, but I don't need that many. Um, I like them when they're still a little green, not too many brown spots. And 
pan, I am going to get some celery for the buffalo chicken wing dip I'm going to make tomorrow for the 4th of July. All right, I moved the produce around. We can make room for more stuff. I'm gonna get these red, white, and blue flowers. They will look nice and festive. I need blue cheese for the buffalo chicken wing dip. And I'm gonna get some cinnamon rolls for the day we get back. Well, the morning after we get back from New York City. So it's just a quick and easy breakfast. I don't have to think much about it. Easy peasy. Cool Whip for the 4th of July. And they are still out of SpongeBob Go-Gurts. So I guess we'll get another thing of the Simply Go-Gurts. And Yo Crunch. I don't need too much milk this week. I am going to get a few gallons of 1% green cap. It doesn't expire until July 15th, so that's good. And they're still out of caramel macchiato creamer, but that's okay. I still have some at home. We have been going through eggs like crazy lately. We are all on an egg phase. We are eating them as fast as our eight, eight chickens can lay them. So I'm gonna stock up on eggs. It's what a lot of us have been eating a lot of lately. Nine dozen eggs, we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, I'm going to get the freezer stuff next and then very quickly do my fourth shopping cart. So I am making meatball subs on Wednesday. I believe that is on the playlist. Easy peasy, meatballs and subs, call it a meatball sub. Um, and then we're doing leftover tonight on Thursday. So I'm going to make a lot of meatball subs since I know that my kids will eat those for leftover. Gonna get bomb pops for the 4th of July. Cool whip for my jello cake. It's not really a cake. I, I don't know what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> and Alex is into Mott's sticks like Zoe. So I'm going to get two boxes of those. You know what? I'm going to grab some toaster strudels for when we get back from the trip as well. And they are out of Uncrustables. Okay, I'll have to find those somewhere else. I'm going to get ice cream sandwiches. Um, and you roll the edges and red, white, and blue sprinkles. Super festive, easy, cute, love it. My kids are definitely still into Klondike bars. So I'm going to stack up on those for the week. really sure how much ice so I'm going to get two bags all right this is this is a full cart I'm leaving that up front with the other two and get another one part four I decided I'm just going to buy potato salad for the 4th of July Funny story, when I first started dating Josh 23 years ago, I had no idea how to cook or bake or anything. And I brought this to his family's house in a casserole dish and said that I made it. <laughs> I feel like I should tell Nana. We are doing another seafood boil tomorrow. 
you mind if I take some? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thanks. Uh, would you like some bags more? Oh, sure. That'd be great. Two bags of mussels. Lemons. And they grabbed me two bags of clams. Little neck clams. Okay, this is the chicken for the week after New York City that I'm going to freeze. 16 chicken breasts. And I need ground beef. I need um, ground beef for Taco Tuesday this week for walking tacos. I also need ground beef for next week that I will freeze for taco bake. And yes, I meal plan for two weeks this time. Sausage for the 4th of July. Ham for breakfast one day this week. I like the ham that's already pre-sliced. Yeah, okay. This is pre-sliced. We're out of our pre-cooked bacon. And I just used up the rest of the bacon last night on my bacon potato avocado egg bake. I'm going to get two bags of shrimp, one for the seafood for tomorrow, and then one to put in the freezer so that we can get back. So Josh and I really wanted to go on this fancy dinner date for our 19th wedding anniversary on the 4th of July. But every restaurant is closed because not only is it a Monday, it's a holiday. So we decided instead we're just going to grab a bunch of fancy food and cook it up at home and spend the day with the kids and enjoy ourselves. I'm going to get breakfast sausage for this week plus next week. Got to make sure it's the sausage links, not the sausage patty. Harley does not like the sausage patty. I don't know the difference. Okay, over to the cheese section. Gotta get cheese for my charcuterie board. White for red, white, and blue. And I'll get some orange cheddar too. I'm gonna get some provolone for the cheeseburgers. I don't know, sounds good. And I need shredded Mexican mix for the taco bake. What else? Uh, shredded cheddar we're out of. We need hot dogs for the 4th of July. It's a Monday, so Around the World Monday is defaulting to all American picnic 4th of July fair. Um, cause I figured maybe like a lot of people don't know what that is. All right. Zoe's Lunchables are in stock. So I'm going to grab those. Sometimes Bodie eats these too. She likes to take them to camp some days. And you know what? I think I'm going to get some of these little Lunchables to pack in their carry on just in case our flight is delayed or something. Then they have a little heartier snack, lunch-ish snack. Okay, so I'm going to get 12 of these. I just remembered Nevea wanted some of the break and bake cookies. I mean, these things are good, right? Our four full cards. Let's check out. Those are the frisbees from yesterday. We did um, frisbee golf at the park yesterday. <laughs> Whoops, I should probably put those away. Why are toiletries so expensive? Like, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. Look it. Like, I'm not complaining. I am thankful that I'm able to afford toiletries for my family, is what I'm saying. But, like, how are some families supposed to afford that? This is not fair. Like, look at this total. Okay, granted, I did get stuff for the clam bag and I got the crab legs, but look at the total. That is because of, uh, how much was the, how much was the, oh, right, I got the drinks thing too. The drinks dispenser. Anyways, there it is. Gotta load that into my Fetch app. I use my heat seater year round because it's like a heating pad for my back. We did it. I'm gonna have to, I don't normally, I normally make all the kids bring the groceries in, but I'm gonna have to help because I need to bring a lot of this stuff up to my room um, to pack for New York City. Thankfully, it is still early on Sunday. Where's my hand sanitizer? Oh, shoot. My hand sanitizer is somewhere in the back of my van because we had a picnic at the park yesterday. My van is currently destroyed. I did not realize that until we went to load groceries in. There's like Frisbees and shirts. Like my boys took their shirts off, so their shirts are in my back seat. Um, there's also a zillion wrappers and empty bottles, water bottles. So I need the kids to clean that out today. That is one of Jordan's chores. My kids do do chores. One of Jordan's chores is cleaning the van out because most of the garbage tends to be his he's just one of the kids who when he finishes something he just like throws the wrapper on the ground instead of the garbage I don't know. do your kids do that so that's why it's his chore since it's mostly his mess we are going to the movies later today to see the new minions movie Oh yeah, I told you that. And I think I have a friend stopping by tonight. Um, she used to live, we grew up together, then she moved to Ohio for a while. And now she's back in New York. So we got together a couple of times already. I think she's going to come tonight. She doesn't live right near us. She's probably um, like an hour and a half away. Closer than Ohio. wedding dresses like 19 years ago the wedding dress style was those giant poofy ball gown dresses um i am stuck on the bridge there's a train 
And then the second thing everybody remembers about our wedding is that we had um, pony drinks. Like, I think they're like six ounce beers. And all over the place was just buckets of pony drinks. And it was fun. Because of course we were all like early 20s when we got married. Josh and I were the first to get married out of everybody we knew. Except my friend Julie. Other than that. We were just babies. Who knew we'd have 12 kids and be living like this 19 years later. No idea. No idea this would happen. I'm going to show you this train. So I'm on the bridge over the Erie Canal for this train. There's the Erie Canal. And there is the train. These trains are always really long. Thank you to everybody who watched my pre-preparation for New York City video vlog. Um, since then, I have booked the transportation to and from the hotel. I had to get a party bus, like a mini bus, <laughs> to fit 16 people. My family of 14, plus my mom and dad, Oma and Opa. So I had to rent a mini bus to get us to and from the airport to the hotel. And then I rented it for Saturday night to get us to and from the play. We're going to go see The Lion King and dinner so that I did ordered the rest of the stuff I think you needed to order oh the suitcases came in they're super cute I'll have to show them to you and yeah I've got a few more things coming from Amazon that we had ordered um, I decided that the guys are going to wear black now that we're going out to dinner after the play they're gonna wear black short sleeve button up collared shirts with um so us girls are wearing the leopard print dresses we wore on mother's day and then the guys will have leopard print ties or bow ties and um patrick is obsessed with suspenders so i got him leopard print suspenders i got an extra pair of suspenders just in case bodie because sometimes Bodhi wants whatever Patrick has. Like, he looks up to him, you know? So I got an extra pair in case Bodhi sees that Patrick is wearing suspenders and he wants to wear suspenders. Just in case. Um, I decided when in New York are we ever going to be again as a family of 14. So I booked on flightography. Um a photographer to take pictures in Central Park. It was very affordable. I have no idea if she's gonna be good or not. I hope I hope it's good. Um, if not, it's somebody taking a picture of us that otherwise we would probably not be able to do because you know it's hard to wrangle up 14 people. Anyways, her name is Jordan and she's this little strawberry blonde girl I found on Flytography. Flytography is that it? So we'll see. I figured we're all going to be dressed up for the Lion King anyways. We already had plans to go to Central Park before the Lion King. So why not have a photographer meet us there and snap some pictures? If it's a flop, I did not spend a ton of money on it. So what else did I do? Booked the transportation. Now we bought all the toiletries and snacks. Josh paid off our Capital One car credit card because whenever we travel, our bank is like local here. And so our bank um, is like, whoa, what are you doing spending money not in Rochester, New York? <laughs> and it like freezes our card for a day. Can't do that on vacation. Uh, so we paid off that card. So then we'll just whatever in New York City will go on that credit card to pay off when we get home, if that makes sense. So then we don't have to worry about our bank, 
like freezing our debit cards that we would normally use. We don't, it's, we don't credit card a lot. Um, only stuff like that where we know and then we'll pay it off after. Like the rental unit in Ocean City, I had to put on a credit card and paid it right off. Just because of the way our debit cards work at our bank. I do not think we're going to get to church today. We shall see. He'll be cutting it close. See how fast we can get groceries in. I set my alarm for 4.30 and then I laid in bed until like 5.15. I gotta get up. I, I've gotten in the bad habit this summer of laying in bed for a little bit first. I gotta get back to getting right up. I mean, I'm entitled to a week of leisurely sleeping in ish but now I gotta get up again get back on track we got everything put away in record time with my new organization system I'm so excited um, these are the spare fridges and freezers I had recently done a food storage tour and so I had revamped all of our food storage and now everything is put away like so fast anyways I also wanted to show you guys the fireworks we got for the 4th of July we bought these yesterday um in New York they don't let us do anything too crazy but we still have fun with it so these will all be for the 4th of July I will definitely vlog that or go live I'm not sure yet so thank you for joining me today for my weekly grocery haul for my family of 14. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.